Here, Chris, you want some snow? There you go. Sending you a whole bunch of snow your way. Catch it. Come on. Catch it. You want snow? gotta say guys this is the worst thing I hate about winter it not only kills my neck and you know I'll be on here for a little bit because I don't have a whole lot the driveway's done by a big blower that comes by but the dogs love it to come out and play and we uh this is the only thing that sucks. And there's not that much, but we're supposed to get to uh, 48 tomorrow. Three inches of snow today, 48 tomorrow. It's just wild. Come on, guys. Molly, come on. Yes, I'll let you. Molly, quit chasing squirrels. Come on. Go see Brooke. Go get Brooke. Go, 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 go. The trick is not to walk on the snow. You walk on the snow, then it packs down and it's twice as hard to shovel.
Well, that went not too, too bad. But again, it, uh, I do dislike it. Um, but it's a necessary evil here in Canada. And now we only had three inches. It was very fluffy. Um, I do have this power, this power uh, snow thrower here. It's good, but uh, it's not, uh, it's getting older. Just a sec guys, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just putting up the uh, tripod. Here, I'll let you look at the bush for a minute. All right. Well, at least I know that uh, this tripod's not good for Canadians. Because it broke. It froze and broke. Nice. Well, since, uh, send sign. Don't buy it if you live in Canada. Because I just snapped one of the things off. Oh well, what do you say we go for a walk? I, uh, I don't get out here enough. And uh, I really should do more walking. It would probably be better for my back and all that good stuff. And, uh, Let's see here. I don't know if you guys can see in the snow, but that's rabbit tracks. We have a little rabbit that lives over in the back gully over there. And uh, he likes to live, oh, sorry about the sun guys. He likes to live underneath my uh, truck. <clears throat> oh, here it is here. I'll try to get closer. Here's the rabbit tracks. He's hopping along. And there's there's two or three rabbits that live in amongst the cedar trees here. And then I'm not supposed to do this. Everybody thinks I'm gonna burn it this winter. But I made a little habitat right there. That's for squirrels, rabbits. Any other little little creatures that need, I can do that, guys. Yes, unfortunately, they've built a, a huge subdivision there. There's going to be a huge subdivision go here this year. But for now, I consider myself rule. Because I've got a 200-acre farm behind me, a 500-acre farm that way, and then thousands of acres of farm just up the road. But uh, I just came back here to see if we could see the, uh, the rabbits. Usually they like to come out in the sun and start hopping along. But so for any of my friends down there that have kids, sorry guys, this snow, you can't make a good snowball out of it. Now, tomorrow night's snow. Um, we're going to be able to make, uh, snowballs, very large snowballs. Let's go see what's in the mail. It's kind of a different video and I, I hope to make more videos like this where I'm out walking the trails and we have so many we have so many different trails around here. We call them multi-purpose or multi-use. And uh, all that they are is, they used to be train tracks, but they ripped them up. And uh, now everybody says, you know, complains about tire prices. Well, here in Canada, we need two different sets of tires. So 
these on my driveway are aggressive winter tires that my daughter's boyfriend has on his car. And mine on my truck are like that too. But uh, yeah, so whenever we buy tires here, we try to offset it at least by a couple years either way. Guys, don't say anything. Oh, I can't zoom in. But if you look, Santa Claus is in front of that house. I bet you he knows I've been always good. There's not a naughty bone in my body. Oh, my nose is growing a bit. Uh, no mail. Nobody loves me. But, uh, so yeah, those houses here, guys. So, we bought ours. Um long time ago oh, almost 20 years ago and uh, actually it is now 20 years well we didn't even pay 200 for ours they haven't got half the land I do and that house there the two story brand new unfinished basement just sold for $830,000. And all the rest of them, this one here, somebody bought it two years ago. They still haven't moved in. And they bought it for 600 and some odd thousand dollars. I wish I had that issue. Hmm, where are we gonna live today? I don't know, George. Oh, let's leave the $600,000 house alone and we'll live wherever. We don't even know where they are. But uh, sun's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And you know, in Canada, we don't like to wear gloves until it's necessary. Because if not, your hands are gonna freeze all winter. Now, the reason why I have my hoodie up is that it does help protect my neck and keep it a little bit warmer. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm still moving. August of 2019, I would have given up anything to be able to walk. So, going into 2022 and I'm still walking, Anyways, unfortunately, this is part of my disease or issue or whatever you want to call it. But I've been on here, I don't know, just over 10 minutes. And uh, I now have to go put a pillow in the crease of my neck so that I can get up whenever Debbie gets off work. It's her weekend. Um... Sure, lock myself out of the house. Um, so yeah, that's all it was. Oh, it's nice in here. Oh, there's my little girl. Say hi, people's mama. Say hi. Yes. Anyways, till next time. Chris, this is why I don't like snow. I have to shovel it. If I just had to sit in my recliner and drink coffee and watch somebody else, I'd want snow too. Anyways, you guys be kind. God bless. And uh, we'll probably see you in somebody's lives soon. Take care.